do. I come from engineering background. I also uh, act as private investor and founder in other companies. Some of them were very successful during the last few years. And now I'm full-time CEO in VocalZoom, which is a young technology company focused on Industry 4. VocalZoom uh, is a company who developed sensors, smart sensors for Industry 4. Our primary product is the autonomous sensor. Uh, this product is focused on guarantee of the availability, quality, and performance of the production line in factories. <clears throat> what we see today in the market is that there is a big transition from the traditional industrial sensors that were until today part of the machine, part of the manufacturing line, to a new generation of sensors, which we call smart sensors. And these sensors are, in or are used in order to collect large amounts of data from the factory and use this data to provide operational and technical insights how to improve the efficiency in the factory. The new generation of sensors is focused on more features, becoming more cost efficient, so you can put them in very large numbers in the factory. And their main task is to collect data. One of the key challenges today in Industry 4, one of the key challenges for factories today, is that the cost of deployment of sensors is very high. Furthermore, uh, most factories lack the expertise of technology. Most of them are focused on manufacturing and production, and they don't have the trained uh, expert, uh, experts to uh, deploy new technologies into the factory. Another challenge for the factories is the IT infrastructure, which was built for the production purpose, but was not built for digitalization um, and large amounts of sensors in the factories. And these are exactly the things that smart sensor are supposed to be uh, the solution for. VocalZoom primary product is what we call the autonomous sensor. This sensor is very easy to install. You can install it quickly in the factory. It can work on many different types of use cases, and it could work on any surface. And it's very um, easy to install and forget, meaning that the sensor is uh, self-diagnosed, and it can work without the intervention and without the help of uh, technicians. The autonomous sensor, you can think of it as a very smart end unit, like, a, like the smartphone of Industry 4. And it comes together with some management platform, management service that you can use on the cloud to manage very large number of sensors in the factory. But the main thing to remember is that this end unit is very smart and very easy to use in the factory. The autonomous sensor has two main features. The first one, it's non-contact. VocalZoom is using its proprietary laser technology. This laser technology can be used to measure many different types of measurements like vibration, shape, distance, uh, thickness of materials, and all other kinds of applications. It's non-contact, meaning that it doesn't touch the machinery. So it's very easy to install, even on hot surfaces, complex environments, uh, very small elements, or things that are moving. The second part of the autonomous sensor is that it's very smart. Unlike other sensors, the autonomous sensor can analyze the data by, by itself, and therefore you can run applications on the sensor very similar to what you're doing with the smartphone. When you run applications on the sensor, the sensor can provide uh, immediate alert to the machine in the factory about degradation of performance or degradation in quality. 
and it can also run a very large number of applications to adapt to different use cases. Like I said, the main goal of the autonomous sensor is to guarantee the performance and the quality of the product. And when we put these sensors in the factory very easily, we can alert to the, uh, uh, to the factory that there's a degradation in performance that require technicians' attention. We operate today in, in South America, in, in, the, in Europe, in China, and also in, North, in South Korea. We have one large partner that we work with in China called QST Corporation, and we are now establishing our first joint venture in China in order to be able to manufacture the sensors in lower cost, distribute the uh, products in China, and also give better support to the customers in China. We have uh, a large group of customers that we work with today in order to provide solutions for their factories. We work with the semiconductor companies like Intel and Tower, in the food and beverage companies like PepsiCo, and also in other areas like the automotive, the steel factory, and also some uh, applications in the packaging industry. A few examples of the things we are doing. This is an example of a pilot project, very large one we have in Intel. Intel is a very large uh, semiconductor company. They have thousands of, of uh, pumps in their factories. And one of the key challenges is how to install so many sensors in the factory without complexity. In, in Intel, we're monitoring the vibration of those vacuum pumps, and this way we can help Intel save millions of dollars every year on maintenance costs and also on prevention of downtime. Another example is in the packaging industry. There are many machines in the packaging industry that have a certain level of performance degradation, a lot of scrap, raw material that is thrown to the garbage because of inefficiency of the machines. And we help those factories upgrade their machine. This way, some factories benefit up to a million dollars per year for a single application just by saving uh, scrap and avoiding uh, low performance of the machine. We have work in food and beverage. Uh, one of our primary customers is PepsiCo. There's a very large number of applications in the food and beverage going from health monitoring of the machine and also machine upgrade to improve the performance. With PepsiCo, we have one project on the, the packaging machines in the factory, which save PepsiCo up to $40 million a year of bad products that are generated today by the machines. Uh, and this is only by using a very low-cost solution of uh, the autonomous sensors. This is another example of a steel factory in, uh, in South Korea. We have also steel factory in Brazil we, we work with. Again, we are using the precise measurement of the laser technology to analyze the quality of the product and guarantee that the product is manufactured according to the plan. Again, we're saving the, the customer the cost of deploying very expensive sensors by using a very low cost sensor, the autonomous sensor, with some applications installed on it to optimize the performance. And we have also applications in the mining, uh, for example, covering conveyor belts and other types of equipment. So that's vocal zoom. Uh, like just to summarize, this is a very easy to deploy technology. It's very smart and it provides you real time performance and applications that you can fit to different use cases and um, we look forward to work with any of the companies that are in the audience. Thank you very much.